same thing. Now, earlier you saw Chef Hayes take us around the table and tell us what he prepared for the theme Mardi Gras party. We have Kim Gardner, who is his decorator or designer, which would you like I'm to be his called? Florist. I You're help. his florist. You're his florist. Okay. Yes. And I understand that you just won a major award? Well, we were we were um, cho we were chosen by the Memphis Flyers, one of the top florists in Memphis. So we're oh, real proud of that. Oh, we're gonna give you a little clap yeah, for that. Thank you. Okay. We're, we're very proud. And you own Jester's. Now yes. tell everybody where Jester's is. I Jester's know it's downtown yes. by Studio One. Yes, it's um, on South Main Street. Okay. Near the Arcade Restaurant and Train Station. Okay. Yeah. And um, it's a floral. It's a floral and gift store. And a gift yes. store. Yes. Okay. And you can also buy online at gesturesgifts.com. All righty. So yes. now let's talk about this amazing centerpiece that Thank you. you created Thank you. Um, for the Mardi Gras party. Yes, yes. Now, okay. I had some. Well, I don't know. How did you create this? What, what are these bamboo sticks? Yes, they're bamboo oh, sticks. They're okay. painted green. Um, we, I came here earlier to see the space, first of all. Right. And I came after Chef Hayes had already decorated a lot of it with all of his pieces. Is that what you normally like to do? Yeah. Wait until everybody decorates well, and then? Either I've been to the venue before and I know what the, the scheme size is, or I come visit, like I came to see this home today okay. before I made this. But I already had in mind that I was gonna use traditional Mardi Gras colors, the purple, the, the green, and the gold. Right. So I already already gotten the flowers at market. The I gold French these. tulips, aren't they beautiful? Aren't they? And, and, then, and they droop because they're heavy? They are heavy. Okay. They have that natural bend to them. I love that. And then um, the green cymbidium orchids, as well as the purple orchids, those are dendrobium orchids okay and the big so circus roses there to pull some of the yellow in as well and now what do they call circus these are roses? circus roses deep inside there and the oh, red tie beautiful. leaves and also the water is purple just to pull in the purple there so I guess you use a little food coloring well actually it's um, not really food coloring it's made in Holland it's made for flowers so you can actually put flowers in the water it won't change the color of and the flowers and it's purple water yeah it comes in all different colors oh it's but really only you neat. have it right well some other florists may have it as well okay but We've but we're going to direct them to time. gestures. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Okay. And then we pulled some flowers up here to just pull the flowers up and have some fun up top as well, as well as the beads and the masks. See, I know nothing about flowers. So yes. these are orchids? Those are dendrobium orchids. Dendrobium orchids. Yes. Okay, yes. pronounce it correctly. So Dendrobium orchids. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do they grow here? They're or? actually, they grow in Singapore, Thailand, Hawaii. In much warmer climates. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I love these flowers, and I love the fact that you just took a plain vase and put some bamboo sticks in, and Thank I you. assumed you colored them. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, I think this is great. You do classes, I understand. Yes, we do. We do okay. private classes. And you teach people how to uh, do fresh flower arranging as well as gift giving. Okay. And they can find out more about uh, your classes on your website. Yes, they can. Okay. At gestiersgifts.com. Chef did a party for me, oh, several months ago, and he made these awesome shooters. Now, I mess them up every time I try to name them. So, you're going to teach me how to make a oyster shrimp shooter? Absolutely. Oh, it's, I got it right! You can do this at home. It's very, very simple and extremely dramatic, as you'll see a little later on in the show. And so, we're going to start off with that. Okay. If you would take the oyster, please, and just put it in the shot glass. If you take the stalk of celery and stick in there with it, okay. there we go. Nice and if you take the spicy Bloody Mary mix and just pour on top. Just any kind of spicy Bloody Mary? Absolutely. Your, 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 your favorite brand. No, no VA won't VA do it. It has to be a spicy, spicy Bloody Mary mix. Okay. And what if you add a little vodka to you? You put a little vodka in there if you want to get a little frisky. Oh, right in there. And then we'll take oh, that, like that colossal frisky. shrimp and just hang it right over the side. It's so simple. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, that is just now, if you chill cold. that and then display it, it's absolutely fabulous. Okay, we're going to set this aside. Okay. And we're going to start working on our shrimp creole. And first of all, uh, I've got everything uh, uh, set together. So we're going to start first on the Trinity. And the Trinity, in Cajun terms, are, is very simple is your celery, your green yep. bell pepper, mm -hmm. and your onion. Exactly. And so we're going to do the onion first. Okay. And I've already cut this. And, and do you use the red onion for color? I use the red onion for color because okay. it's Mardi Gras. Right. Uh, mostly I use white onions, but Mardi Gras, I love to use the purple onion. See, I love my dairy onions. I know they're seasonal, but I Ab just Absolutely. Them. I couldn't I couldn't agree more. And then we're going to take our bell pepper and just cut it up. 
We'll put that in the bowl, and then we take our celery. Okay. And now my secret ingredient. Your secret which ingredient. Which is pick, pickled okra. Okay. Now, I have never heard of pickled okra. Mm-hmm. So, you actually take fresh okra? Fresh okra and pickle and it. pickle it? That is correct. And really? it makes it crisp, and it has a little little tang taste to it because of the... Can I try it absolutely, because of the vinegar base. So, we're going to take a garlic clove, and mm -hmm. then we're going to just lightly dice it. And then we're going to go over to the stove and start cooking. All righty. Okay, so now tell everybody about the three. Um, this is the trinity. This is the trinity. Correct. This is the celery, the green bell pepper, and the onion. And, the onion. and that's a staple. That's a staple in, in every Cajun dish you every can put Cajun together. Dish. Absolutely. Okay, so now let's go over to the stove. Let's go over the stove. All righty. Now, what are you going to prepare? Well, now we now what I've done is I've heated a skillet. Okay. And we put some uh, some extra virgin olive oil in there. I always cook with olive oil. And we're going to start with that wonderful tr trinity. Hear that sizzle? Okay. Doesn't that like sound it. good? We're going to put our bell pepper and our onion and our celery. We're going to we're going to put our okra in there. And that's the pickle kind. Just that's the pickle kind. Then we're going to put our chopped diced tomatoes. Oh, Doesn't that look good? Oh, Hear that sizzle? Doesn't that smell good? Oh, it smells. It's I wish we had Aroma TV. I always oh, say that. Oh, Aroma yeah, TV is just, is just absolutely fabulous. We're going to put just a just a tad of tomato sauce in there, just a little bit now. Just a little bit. Not too much. We're going to put a little black pepper. We're going to put a little sea salt. We're going to put a little Cajun spice in there. This is about 10 different spices mixed together. A little bit of cayenne pepper for the heat. Make you perk up in the evening. Then my secret ingredients. White wine. Just a little bit. Alrighty. So now, the rule is always use the wine that you drink. Absolutely. Right? If you don't drink it, don't use it. Don't and cook I, with and it. And I cook with a fabulous Chardonnay. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is Ooh, we're just going to let so this, good. doesn't this smell good? Now how long does it take? We cook this off for about uh, two and a half hours. Two and a half just hours. Just let simmer? it simmer. Just let it simmer. Top add off. A, add a little bit. Uh, let it. I, I, I like to, to leave the top off because I the love aromas. the smell of the aromas. It just kind of hugs you. It does. Absolutely. And so then you just add a little white wine from time to time as needed. And uh, when, after about two, two and a half hours, you can tell it gets a little bit thick. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing you want to do right before you put it on top of your rice is add your colossal shrimp. Then we just put it on the white rice and we're ready for some crusty French bread and a fabulous chilled glass of Chardonnay and we're ready to enjoy ourselves.